What's up guys, Houndish here, and today let's jump in during this quiet holiday time and speak a little bit about the collection of changes and gameplay notes that we have for Season 13 of Destiny 2. Of course, that is starting in February 2021. So it's kind of early days to speak about a season, but we have had some important details from Bungie about their plans for the season, new weapons, quality of life improvements, new content, fixes, and more. So obviously this is a kind of recap of what we know so far, and it may be useful for players who want to preview, but also some discussion about what some of these changes could mean. Hopefully it'll make for an interesting video. So guys, as always, let us know what you think down below. And also I hope you've been enjoying the holiday season, but now let's get it going. We're gonna start out with a very mild spoiler right here, but we've got a data mined name for the season. And according to Jinsa, season 13 will be known as Season of the Chosen. As we know, the story's got quite a bit of scope, but we'll save speculation about that until Bungie show us a little more. However, according to the schedule, season 13 should kick off on Tuesday 9th of February. That's at least according to the countdown we have on the season pass. And of course, season content from season 12 should stick around in terms of activities and core rewards according to Bungie's year four plan. So unlike last year, the important season 12 content should still be available during season 13. But now to get into the change list, some of these things we have spoken about a little bit, but notably in terms of content stuff, initially the Cosmodrome is set to be expanded for season 13, both in terms of introducing two new strikes, but also the real estate being opened up to match D1 in terms of scale, that is minus the Plaguelands. But Bungie have said that Cosmodrome will be fleshed out roughly to Destiny 1 Year 1 parity and the Devil's Lair and Fallen Saber strikes will return. But the updates to the Cosmodrome, more importantly for the discussion at least, could indicate plans for season content focusing on on that destination next season, right? Bungie said they were leveraging Cosmodrome for the new New Light experience this year, but especially with additional content updates, it seems entirely possible they'll be leveraging Cosmodrome for more of the season stuff in year four. A change that Bungie had spoken about and haven't updated us on just yet is more of a quality of life thing, but they had said that they're working on a bounty board style system in the UI for the game. And they want to make it easier to grab bounties when we want to complete them, so they've been working on a mechanism like allowing bounties to be accessed directly from the destination map. They spoke about this quite some time ago, but had said that season 13 was the kind of target. And recently they have given us the functionality to grab bounties via the Destiny app. But since this is an in-game tool, I'd imagine it's still something that they're looking to introduce soon, so hopefully we'll get an update about that. And of course, when they say the destination map, theoretically, that could mean we could grab bounties even when we're on destinations or maybe in activities if we're lucky. So still a function that I think a lot of players would enjoy. More recent updates though have been about weapon introductions as well as changes, so something we should mention, but Bungie had committed to adding a new pursuit weapon each season. For season 12 we have the Adored, and then of course we are going to get a new one for season 13, and once again should be earnable by playing in a preferred core playlist and then with those activity specific legendary skins. Be interested to see what archetype of weapon Bungie go for, give us your thoughts on what you'd like to see down in the comment section. But also once again we should bear in mind that Bungie will be adding limited time quest weapons like Felwinter's Lie, Whisper and Outbreak Perfected to the exotic kiosk in the tower next season. So those will be obtainable once again and then we are going to be getting six new legendary weapons for ritual activities, two each for strikes, gambit and crucible. And by the sounds of it they will be kind of random drops at the end of playlist activities or via rank up packages but naturally will expand the loop pool at least a little bit. Then to make Nightfall Strikes a little bit more interesting, we're going to get those three reprised weapons from Destiny 1 as unique Nightfall drops in D2, so that's going to include the Palindrome. That was a pretty exciting hand cannon back in D1. But also the Swarm Machine Gun, which of course we are in need of a few more machine guns in the loot pool. But also Shadow Price, which of course does have the potential to be pretty good in Destiny 2 depending where you're playing, so that'll be exciting. And they're going to drop adept versions of those weapons in Grandmaster Nightfalls. So both more weapons, but also better loot inside of Nightfalls. I think most of us can agree is a step in the right direction on that front. And then Cosmo had teased that we're going to see two new 120 hand cannons coming next season. Of course those could be split across new activity rewards, but also those playlist drops. But it's a decent teaser for anyone who wants more of those hand cannons in the game. Now in terms of other reward updates in Season 13, Bungie have said that they want to allow players to continue to gain Season 11 and 12 weapons in the world pool. But then Season 10 weapons will also continue to be available, but through a more prescriptive source. So legendary engrams will no longer reward the soon to expire weapons and soon to be capped loot will be found with the gunsmith. So a slight quality of life improvement right there. And then getting more into the kind of updates and quality of life stuff in general, Bungie will be updating more legend and master lost sectors on the moon. 
They'll be introduced into the rotation as well as the stuff that we have in Cosmodrome and on Europa, but they'll also introduce three new pieces of exotic armor to chase. So that's also going to be cool. I wonder if those will be tied to newer Lost Sectors that we get for Season 13, or whether they're just going to introduce them into a pool of specific Lost Sector armor. Of course, if they do that, it could be slightly harder to get newer stuff, although it's certainly an interesting ecosystem, so once again, give us your thoughts about that. They are going to introduce DDoS protection for Destiny 2 players on all consoles in Season 13 as well. And then the other things that they had in the list, including Vault of Glass returning, crossplay coming in 2021. Those are, as far as we know, going to be dropping later than Season 13. And then also in terms of quality of life, face glass needles, alkane dust, simulation seeds, and seraphite will no longer be accepted by vendors in Season 13. And so essentially, any opportunities to spend those, especially as we get closer, will kind of be useful. Bungie have said that they're trying to reduce the amount of times the vendors request those older materials at the moment, but it's a tricky balance, of course, because you want to keep enough that you have some in an emergency, but not so many that you just kind of waste them. Nonetheless, those materials will go away next season. And DMG also spoke about improvements that they have for Gambit next season, specifically for collecting moats. So, of course, there are some network issues that we know are associated with collecting moats. Sometimes they don't pick up, or another player grabs the one that you're trying to pick up and things like that. Essentially, the experience should be a little bit smoother with the update they drop in Season 13, but obviously, Season 13's update is going to be reasonably significant for a season update. And with us having around about a month and a half until it drops, we're definitely going to get details, but there are also a few Season 12 things that we need to wrap up over the next few weeks as well. For me, when it comes to core seasonal content for Season 13, Obviously, we have seen various different versions of season kind of activities and loot tables, starting out with things like Menagerie and Reckoning, then even Seraph Towers and the Sundial. It's a format that Bungie have done quite a bit, so it'll be interesting to see how they approach that for Season 13. But of course, for any key piece of activity content, we're really looking for that replayability and the reward system to be pretty robust. Hopefully, we're going to be getting a lot more loot, right? Some of the things that Bungie have told us definitely sound positive. More loot for Nightfalls, as well as additions in the playlist, with some new exotics coming from Lost Sectors, and hopefully, a robust set of core season rewards. That could be a positive, and of course, it will expand the overall loot table for the game a little bit post-sunsetting. I also hope that Cosmodrome will be a focus. Of course, it isn't a brand new destination, but outside of New Light, we haven't had kind of significant reasons to explore the location, so I think there's a lot of scope to make the season feel better than previous seasons have by utilizing the destination that we haven't really seen in full for some time. But of course, there are a bunch of different things that you guys may be thinking about when it comes to future seasons, so as always, give us your thoughts about that down in the comment section, as well as any of the changes that Bungie have outlined so far. As always, though, also keep it locked and loaded here on the channel. As soon as we get any updates and new information, I'll be sure to keep you guys posted. So as always, thanks for tuning in, guys. If you have enjoyed this one, a rating down below is very much appreciated. But for now, whatever you get up to, I hope you have an awesome day.